Once again, we're at the start of hurricane season. Over the next six months or so, we are likely to see hurricanes and tropical storms of various strength pass through our region. Their paths and impact are impossible to predict. We must learn from the lessons of the past and ensure that we're as prepared as we can be. Whether you're a new arrival with little experience of hurricanes and tropical storms, or a veteran of hurricanes past, being prepared is the best way to protect your life and the lives of your family members, as well as your property. I encourage all of you to take a few basic steps. These are ensuring you're well informed, making plans and preparing. Being informed means using the many online and media resources that are available to help us get through this process of getting ready for hurricane season. I recommend that you visit the website of Hazard Management Cayman Islands at www.caymanprepared.ky. This is the agency that oversees the government's response to natural and man-made disasters. You can also follow them on Facebook and Twitter to make sure that you receive the most up-to-date information. Another essential website is www.weather.gov.ky which is the Cayman Islands National Weather Service. You can view the latest images from our local Doppler radio on this website. Please don't forget that our local media will also be a key source of information throughout hurricane season. Cayman 27, Radio Cayman and the Cayman Compass routinely share public information that will help you be as well informed as possible. I also said it was important to make plans and to prepare. Please find out in advance about your area, your home and how these may have been affected by hurricanes in the past. Think about where your home is positioned. If you have a car, where might be the safest place to park it? Find out the location of your nearest hurricane shelter in case you need to get to a place of safety and where your nearest emergency medical centre is. This information will help you decide whether to stay in your home or whether to go to an alternative location. There are also some basic preparations that should be made by everyone on island. One of the most important is to put together a hurricane supply kit. At a minimum, this should include several days supply of fresh water, non-perishable food and essential medication for you and your family as well as a flashlight to help you get through the days following a hurricane when electricity may not be available. We must be ready to be as self-sufficient for as long as possible. Please make sure your travel documents are up to date and you have these stored safely. Storm surge remains the primary threat to life and property in the Cayman Islands and this is far more than just a coastal threat. We know that past hurricanes have produced huge um, surge levels over 20 feet above the normal mean sea level. That means that if you live in a low-lying area, even if you live far from the shoreline, then you are still vulnerable, especially if you live in a single-storey dwelling. What this means is that residents should err on the side of caution when it comes to their sheltering arrangements and listen closely to local bulletins when a hurricane is approaching. This message has been mainly about personal preparations for a storm, but I know that many of you will also be interested in taking part in community effort. If a damaging storm does happen, I encourage all of you who are interested to volunteer with one of the many groups that provide assistance at such a time. These groups include Hazard Management Community Emergency Response Teams, the Red Cross, the Department of Children and Family Services Shelter Managers, and the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service Special Constabulary. When it comes to protecting your family, your home and your community, it's always sensible to hope for the best but to plan for the worst. Thank you.